today is August 15th. These are most important events for this day through history. On this day in 1990, is born Jennifer Lawrence, an American actress and the second youngest Best Actress Oscar winner. She is best known for her roles in Silver Linings Playbook and the Hunger Games film series. On this day in 1964, is born Melinda Gates, an American business person and philanthropist. She is the wife of Microsoft founder Bill Gates, and the co-founder of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. On this day in 1769, is born Napoleon Bonaparte, a French military and political leader, who rose to prominence during the French Revolution and its associated wars. He is one of the greatest commanders in history. The Panama Canal is a 77.1 km ship canal in Panama that connects the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean, which was officially opened on August 15, 1914 with the passage of the cargo ship SS Encon. The canal cuts across the Isthmus of Panama and is a key conduit for international maritime trade. By 2008, more than 815,000 vessels had passed through the canal and the largest ships that can transit the canal today are called Panamax. It takes six to eight hours to pass through the Panama Canal. The American Society of Civil Engineers has named the Panama Canal one of the seven wonders of the modern world. On this day in 1939, was the Hollywood premiere of the movie The Wizard of Ounces at Grauman's Chinese Theater, Los Angeles, California. The Wizard of Ounces is a 1939 American musical fantasy film produced by Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, and the most well-known and commercially successful adaptation based on the 1900 novel The Wonderful Wizard of Ounces by L. Frank Baum. Notable for its use of technicolor, fantasy storytelling, musical score and unusual characters, over the years it has become one of the best-known films and part of American popular culture. It was nominated for six Academy Awards, and it went in two categories. The Beatles staged their second concert tour of the United States in the late summer of 1965. At the peak of American Beatlemania, they played a mixture of outdoor stadiums and indoor arenas, with two historic stops on this venture. The Shea Stadium concert on 15 August, 1965, was record-breaking and one of the most famous concert events of its era. It set records for attendance and revenue generation. Promoter Sid Bernstein said, Over 55,000 people saw the Beatles at Shea Stadium. We took $304,000, the greatest gross ever in the history of show business. This demonstrated that outdoor concerts on a large scale could be successful and profitable. Patricia Pat Palink was as credited as the first and, until Katie Nippa signed with the Fort Wayne Firehawks in 2010, only woman to play American football professionally in a league made predominantly of men. Palink was his first day of play was August 15, 1970, against the Bridgeport Jets, in front of 12,000 fans. On her first play, Palinkas was attacked by Jets defenseman Wally Florence, who admittedly and unsuccessfully attempted to break her neck, as punishment for what he perceived to be making folly with a man's game. Palinkas went on to appear for more times, three consecutive successful extra point kicks, and a field goal attempt that was blocked. She was a play-seeking holder for her husband Stephen Palinkas for the minor league Orlando Panthers in the Atlantic Coast Football League. After her brief stint in professional football, returned to her home in Tampa, Florida to start a family and continue her career as a first-grade teacher. On this day in 1982, dies Ernie Bush Miller, who was an American cartoonist, best known for creating the long-running daily comic strip Nancy. He was one of the founding members of the National Cartoonist Society. On this day in 1982 died Hugo Theorel, who was a Swedish scientist. He received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1955, for discovering the oxidation enzyme and its effects. On this day in 2013 died Rosalia Mura, who was a Spanish businesswoman, entrepreneur and co-founder of Zara. At the time of her death, she was the richest woman in Spain and the world's richest self-made woman. 
Time is the school in which we learn, time is the fire in which we burn. Delmore Schwartz